Happening, good people. We've got a really cool project that we're gonna do today. Remember that really cool blue telly that we got from T's Guitars? Well, we're gonna take this thing and completely black it all out. It's probably gonna be a long video, so there will be chapters, but most likely what I'm also gonna do is cut the video down into each individual sections of replacing each individual component so that you could check it out in smaller chunks if you want to. Or for those that don't really care about the other parts, they can just watch those videos instead. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, replace the bridge, the control panel, the actual knobs themselves, the string trees even, the tuners, the back plate, the uh, strap buttons, and even the uh, jack plate. So we're gonna get this thing on the bench and get going. Okay. Let's unbox those tuners. All right, so the first thing we do is get the string off. Next up is personal preference, whether you like to do the nuts or the screws first. I like to do the screws first, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Make sure we don't lose any parts because we'll definitely be reusing these really good tuners. This is good too if you have a staggered set and you wanna keep them in the same order. So when putting these in, you want to actually put them in this way first. On previous ones, I've had ones where they've um, matched up perfectly, so it was just fine. If you've seen in the last Geiger tuners, they actually line up perfectly. These ones I checked just um, um, off screen before, and they're gonna need a little drilling. So what I like to do is get these on somewhat tight but enough that they can move. A little bit. And tight enough that it holds pressure and it's not going to wobble around. But not tight enough that you can't adjust with a straight edge. Looks like the first two probably go in okay. I like to get them started with that smaller screwdriver.
What's nice too is that the new screws are actually a little bit longer. I don't know if I can line that up. Good, but so it'll catch, catch a little bit more of the wood itself. It looks like the last one up there will be fine. This one will have to fill in a little bit and you could either get like some wood, like fine wood from, uh, you know, sanding and a little super glue and fill it in. I've heard people using even toothpicks to do that. And then the other two actually aren't even in the same area as the hole. So we'll drill it and uh, yeah, so we'll do that. Just tighten these up now. And there we go. As you can see, very nice and very smooth. And uh, we'll get the uh, string trees now. Take them off. String trees. Oh, what's nice about these ones too is that the, uh, the screw again is longer. So it's actually catch more of the wood putting these back in. Oh, I should also show you. And they have individual spacers. So the higher one goes over here and then the lower one in the other spot. And just my preference, but I like to get these kind of set in enough where it'll still move a little bit when I put the strings in. And then when I get the strings and it all strung up, then I will uh, set it home and set it. All right, so we're gonna take care of this bridge here. The only thing that I did not account for was for the uh, screws for the uh, pickup. So unfortunately the finished product right now is gonna have those three screws that have the pickup on there, but. Let's unbox the bridge. I'm going to save this bridge. It's a good, decent bridge. And use it on a uh, probably the Squire debut Telecaster. Forgot to mention too that the uh, screws again are a lot deeper 
so they will get into the wood more, so it's even better. All right, so we're gonna get the knobs off and the pickup selector switch knob off and we'll take the plate off and we'll get going with the pick cards. And the control panel. So this one too, kind of forgot that uh, the uh, pickup also has the uh, screws too. So we'll have to hunt down some, some screws for those too. And I uh, just noticed after putting on the uh, pick guard that um, this is going to come in contact with the neck a little bit. So we're just going to have to rasp that out a little bit. So I'm going to bring this downstairs, do that real quick, and I'll be right back up. All right, now that we have the uh, control plates on, we'll put the, uh, the knobs on. Before we put the neck back on, we're going to just do the strap buttons. Right, let's 
Take out the buttons. Alright, so let's get the plate out. Now we're doing the neck plate. Well, that neck plate went on pretty easily. Took the old screws out, new ones in, lines up perfectly, no fuss, no muss. So I know it's something that you're not gonna really see. Like I really didn't do the, the ferrules over here because I'm not pulling them out for any reason. It's always gonna be something that nobody's gonna see. Not that anybody's gonna see the same way, but just thought it'd be kind of cool. Strap buttons, they're really not like you know anything particular, but it just add a little bit extra. You're really not gonna see them when you have a strap on anyway, but they're pretty easy. Went in, went out, no problem. Hi, yes, YouTube, it's me again. What do you mean, what, this time? This guy, he's talking about strap-ons and easy in and easy out. Well, yes, it was a guitar-related video. Well, yeah, he was talking about strap buttons, but still, this is absolute filth you're letting on your channels. We got the uh, pick guard on and the control panel on. We got the knobs on, they look great. Got that bridge all loaded up, the uh, string trees too, but it really looks cool, all blacked out. Check out those dopamine tuners. These things are slick, it looks so much better. So I, I like to let it set a little bit after that and then I'll recheck everything and then string it up and uh, intonate it and then it should be uh, ready to rock. I'll give you some uh, close-ups of that now as we're exiting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed already. And uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. You've all been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.